Good evening, this is Dee from the Greenside Up Garden. Um, it's the 3rd of June, 4th of June even. A couple of days late with this. So here we go. You can see how it's come on since last month if you've been following the videos. This is the third one. This is the strawberry patch. A bit overgrown, a bit weedy. Lots of flowers but no strawberries yet. Here we have the potatoes finally coming up. So we have potatoes under the mat and also at the back there they've been earthed up. In this bed, poached egg flour that self-seeded last year, it was at the bean patch um, and it's great for attracting hoverflies. So that's not under the net. But under the net, to protect from cabbage white butterfly, we have cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, some kale, celeriac, some direct sown swede and under this one we have some lots of slug eaten kale, different kales there, curly kale, scarlet kale and a Tuscany kale if I remember rightly. Lots of slugs this year, I've been trying eggshells, coffee, organic slug pellets, nema slug but at the end of the day I think it's picking them off in the evening that seems to be doing the best trick. In here Lots of onions coming up. We have red onion at the back, white onion at the front here. My peas are a real battle against the slug. In the middle there's some Fusilia green manure. I'm picking slugs off these peas daily. I direct sowed some Monge 2 peas and every one of them got eaten. So I've re-sown those. So just coming up here. A couple of borage plants. Some runner beans have been direct sown under the bean support. The peas like to clamber up something, hence the netting, and the runner beans like to curl themselves around a frame. Then we have some dwarf French beans in the end here. A little recycled windmill I had a go at making today out of a drinks bottle, inspired by Penny at Millennium Court Gardens. Groovy scarecrow. More strawberries. Midges are biting now. Some garlic, more onions. The Swiss chard now is going to seed, it's bolted. We haven't had so much of that lately, so that'll be coming out soon. The shallots are here. And there's some tiny, tiny dill seed, which I don't think you can probably see from there. Strawberry rhubarb bed, completely overgrown. More spuds, and at last we have some seeds in the roots bed. So here's the parsley, it takes ages to come up. Some radish or parsnip, I should say, not parsley. There's some more there. We have scallions and more charred beetroot, um, spinach. And I've direct sown loads of carrots in this end, so there's nothing showing here. This is my one weed, foxglove. Very peaceful this evening. And now we'll head into the polytunnel, um, which hasn't been weeded for a few days. And with the sun, probably looking a bit overgrown, but here we go. So here's the herbs at the front. It's great to have herbs at the front of a tunnel because it attracts beneficial insects in. Rosemary, incidentally, supposedly if you break some off and rub it all over your skin, it's supposed to stop midges biting. The tomatoes are in. Haven't strung them up yet. Here's the globe artichoke. Start looking quite spectacular. Lots of little globes. More globes coming up here, the big one at the top. Then we have peas. Again, slugs had a field day, so they're at different stages. The dry weather last week really, you can see where it dried out some of the leaves, even despite lots of um, watering. The phacelia at the back, again, that's going to, I've planted that there to stop other weeds that I don't want growing. Here's the tree spinach. 
pretty little spinach plant and lots of strawberries kind of ready. Keep meaning to put some straw under there, I haven't got round to it yet. We have some grapes in here. Last year the magpies ate them all. Hopefully we'll get some this year. There they are, tiny little things. On the bench Chilies that are taking absolutely ages to come on, despite being heated. Some purple sprout in broccoli. I'm not too worried if the slugs eat a few more kale because I have two trays of this and nowhere to put it. Some sunflowers at the back. Down here we have Bordeaux spinach. I think this is such pretty spinach. Again, it's bolted with the heat that was in here last week. It was 46 degrees. Tomato plants waiting to be side shooted and strung up. Window box with some lettuce and tomato. Leeks are very, very slow to grow. I'll be planting those out soon. We have a courgette here, which is just starting to flower down the bottom. And another variety of courgette there. And this lad here is a squash. A Crown Prince squash, so I'm quite excited about him. I haven't had one of those growing before. Some sweet corn, a few lettuce, the cucumbers are in, but very little. A bit more Bordeaux spinach, and you can see the broad beans here, the big ones at the bottom, and as you go higher, they get smaller, and right at the top, the beans just starting to come out the flower. Again, these are taller than I am now, and they suffered in the heat last week. You can see the leaves have gone brown on the tips. But another job, harvesting the beans. So that's it, that's what's happening in the tunnel. At the moment, quite colourful everywhere. Can't beat chives for colour. So that's it this month. So I'll bring you back in about a month's time and you can see how the rest, how the gardens come on in, in a few more weeks. Okay, bye for now.